Yo, what's up guys, it's Casey here, welcome back to the video, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make pants on Roblox in 2024, so if you enjoy this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and join my group. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is go to photop.com, completely free, no download, and now we're going to search up Roblox pants template PNG, and I will uh, link everything in the description. Um, so I'm going to be using this. Make sure before you click on it, it looks like a solid color. But then when you actually click on it, it um, shows checkers. And if it sh uh, shows checkers before you click on it, and uh, that means it's not actually transparent. So we want to make sure it's transparent. 585 times 559 pixels. Go right click, copy, go back here, control V. There's going to be like some key shortcuts in here um, that I'm going to be using. So like, say you want to go back. If you mess something up, hit control Z. And then if you want to redo, do control shift Z. It'll redo it or click here. Um, control minus to go to zoom out. Control plus to zoom in. Control zero to like center it. Um, or you can go to window, you know, zoom in, zoom out. We're going to make some black pants. So I'm going to do black jeans material. You could just go here and go like that. And, uh, you know, that'd be fine, but I want to make it a little realistic looking or a little more realistic than that. So I'm just going to find a piece of fabric. I like you can use whatever you want. I think I might go with these. So right click, copy, I'm gonna put it back in here. Uh, left click, drag it below background. We're gonna go to transform controls and then we can scale it. Um, or we can go to edit, transform and scale. And if you mess up on your scaling, you can hit control Z. And uh, also if you wanna like disproportion it, you, you see how everything's getting larger right here, but if I hold down shift, I can make just one side longer, which is important to know. Um, but yeah, we're going to size this down and make sure it's not too like pixelated. I'm going to click off this. I'm going to drag it below background. I'm going to hit control C while the layer selected, control V to copy it and also if you overlap i'm gonna hit control plus to zoom in if you overlap this you'll see that like uh each side of this is a little different color so you could go to edit transform flip horizontally and the color will match up pretty good or you can just make sure you hide like the new uh layer under this white line so the people don't see the color difference um, but we're gonna hit control zero, go back. And I'm gonna hit control C again, control V. Control V. And now we are going to make some shoes. So I'm going to use a website called StockX. You need to make sure whatever website you use captures every angle of a shoe like front back sides and all that and uh, i'm going to be using this bapesta shoe also make sure not to name your pants when you upload them to roblox like the brand you're using or roblox might take them down and also try to uh, stick with a basic shape like a jordan one um you know dunks or uh an air force one something like that don't use like a Jordan 4 that has kind of a weird shape to it because it'll be harder to make it look good for Roblox pants. So we're going to click on this. We're going to search up snipping tool. going to click on it. New. Uh, select that. Right click. Copy. Control V. Drag this over everything. We're going to use uh, transform controls and scale that down a little. Go back and we're gonna hit magic wand and we're gonna delete this white. It doesn't matter if there's still a little showing. Uh, 
but we're gonna go right about here just like this I think that'll look pretty good control C control V also I just uh, use my rectangle select you left click and release to select a certain area and then to you know get out of these uh, like dotted lines you need to just click off of it while using the rectangle select tool um so now we have this we're going to drag it under background and we're going to put it right here you don't want to make the shoes too high transform we're going to hold shift stretch it out so it covers this area but now we're going to have that layer selected Control c Control v and uh what i'm actually going to do i'm going to delete this um but i'm going to go right here and make the shoe go like that a little so it looks a little or make make sure you have the right layer selected i'm going to hit um delete this is make it look a little more realistic once we got that i'm gonna right here control c control v with, and we're gonna put this one right here go to edit flip horizontally looks pretty good make sure they're pretty leveled yeah looks pretty good then control v again this one can go right here Now, for the front of the shoe, I'm going to go like that, get our snipping tool, uh, right click, copy, put it into here, try to get above everything, and um, you know, it didn't perfectly select it, that's totally fine, because we just want this part. Uh, I think that'll look pretty good. Control C, Control V. Go here, delete that. And now we're gonna drag this below background and transform it. And hold down Shift, stretch it out. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna zoom in on it and go like this. Delete that and delete that. All right, now I'm gonna control C with it selected. All right, now for the back, just like this. Get this left click or I'll delete the white background first control C control V delete that layer drag it under background and we're going to put it in the back I'm gonna stretch it out I'm gonna zoom in on it and I'm gonna make this a little shorter. Oh wait, gotta hold down shift. Uh, but usually the back of a shoe is a little higher. But I'm gonna go like that. Have it selected and control C, control V. And I'm gonna hold down space and left click and hold to move around right here. It looks decent. I'm gonna go to uh, Eclipse Select. I'm gonna right click on this. And I should have done this and before I copied all of them. It's gonna go like that. Oh wait, I'm gonna hit Auto Select. So I'll have this layer selected. Hit Delete right there. Okay, 
go right here. I'm gonna search up bottom of orange bait stuff. I'm go right here, copy. Go right here, control V. I'm gonna scale this. And uh, we're gonna just like click out here to rotate it. Or you can go to edit, transform, and rotate. That'll work. Uh, but now we're gonna get rectangle select. And click right here, control C, control V. Put this under background. Bring this down here. Hold down shift. Go ahead, hit control C, control V. Edit, click horizontally. And also I'm going to uh, take this tool, do it right about here. It's really small. I'm gonna go to fill, select this color right here. I'm gonna go to layer, rasterize, just to add a little more detail. Add it below background. And yeah, that's pretty good. And uh, we can search up Roblox shirt texture PNG to add a little more, you know, just texture to it. All right, copy see if this one will fit all right this one fits pretty good I'm going to drag that below background and I'm going to take this rectangle select and just delete it above this and uh, I'm going to also drag it below the shoes maybe adjust it a little now you can search up I know these are jeans, but I don't know. I'll just search up like uh, hoodie strings PNG. Go to something like this, copy, and uh, put that on here just for a little more detail. I'm going to split these in two. Go like that, control X, control V. So now I can move them around separately. Select both of the layers by hitting, by, by holding down control and selecting them. All right, that looks pretty good. And you can search up like pocket PNG. Uh, I don't know, add something like this. You know, these are just little details. You definitely don't have to do this stuff. I think I might darken the shoes a little. So I'm just gonna select all this by holding down control. Oh yeah, also you can like change the colors, which is cool. There's a lot of things like that, which is gonna be hard for me to like, remember to tell you guys like every little thing, but you could theoretically make multiple pants out of these one pairs if you made like a bunch of different shoe colors. All right, but now we're gonna go to file, export as, PNG. And also you can do export as, and or no, go to file, save as PSD. And then um, name it whatever, orange. Bapes does and I can go to photo P like say I gotta turn off my computer I can go to open then I can open this back up and change them up so yeah now I'm gonna go to Roblox you can go to create um, creations uh, avatar items classics classic pants upload it here but I'm gonna 
upload it in my uh, group, which I have not made any pants in it for. Oh, I guess I have. But we're gonna go to upload asset, click on here, and like I said, don't name them the actual brand you used because they might get taken down. It cost 10 Robux. Refresh. Oh, no, go to avatar items, classics, pants, and here they will be. And I uh, can put them on sale. And I'll uh, go right here, open in Roblox. And here they are. They look pretty good. Alright, so here they are in a game. They look pretty cool, as you can see turned out pretty nice. There's a thing in Roblox where your shoes will show through your uh, knees, which is really weird, but that happens with any pants. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, at the end screen of this video, you'll see a shirt tutorial I made, which is pretty good. So yeah, check that out and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.